as I was saying, you got a real big problem, all this kitty stuff, you evil twin CC and Dom got you doing a, uh, vet, what, what was that word he was using? Uh, rebrand? No, 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 um, recalibrate. All this stuff they got you doing to recalibrate your image is cost you in the hood, fam. Yo, the streets is watching, and they're not convinced. Vic, how many times do I have to tell you? The streets ain't always right. Nah, 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 nah. It's always good in the hood. Uh, let's not forget, I am a student of human nature. All right, take mm -hmm. your man here. He's playing his hair video game as to not address the reason why his brand Jordan sneakers are sitting on store shelves collecting dust. Ooh. Ouch. Okay, what are your suggestions, Victor? He wants you to rob a bodega. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, man, I'm not talking about some focus group, all right? Mm. I'm talking about the hood. They don't trust you no more. They see you coming to the arenas wearing them tight pants y'all ballers be wearing. Your high water ankles be showing. Your pants is just so tight, man. It, your ankles be choking. <laughs> Air it out some. People don't see themselves in you anymore. Look at me. People don't recognize themselves in who you are. Okay, you want to recalibrate? Fine, B, go ahead. We'll recalibrate back to Harlem. Remind these fools where you from. Represent, you know what I'm saying? Like, where's that Jesus piece you used to rock? Not that, that shuttle's worth. With them fake chains we used to wear. Yo, but that's my point. Yo, let me get you some nice jewels, huh? Make you flossy. Get you a new whip, something that the hood will love. Let's remind these fools that you the Harlem Renaissance up in this piece. Like, get a club, I don't know, something. Just, I can wait around, man. I mean, at least get me some, too. Yeah, and get some nice free vet, too. Nah, but for real, in all seriousness, you think it's that bad? Yo. Cats be laughing at your corny commercials, B. Come on. But that's what I'm saying. Yo, we could change all that. Hey, right? now, I know CC's your manager and all, but everywhere she leads, you can't always follow. Now, I'm not trying to catch no charge, but Cece got people out here laughing at you, fam. Now, just let me take care of everything. You the CEO, I'm the CFO, chief flossing officer. You hit me with that bread, and I got you. Cece. How y'all doing? What up, Cece? Freak, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, what up? In private? Cece, go ahead. Okay, well, I thought we were supposed to be having a private meeting today to discuss business. Cece, what you think we're doing? Am I talking to you? <laughs> you know what? Y'all ain't talking business. Y'all talking nonsense. We were actually discussing the questionable nature of the promotional strategy that you and Dom have employed on Freak's behalf. Now, it doesn't necessarily resonate with his core fan base, primarily due to the fact that it negates the legitimacy of his personal background and history in favor of reaching a larger primarily more disinterested demographic that would prefer to judge Freak's past as opposed to appreciate it. <laughs> Yo, what Yvette said, four times 25, 100. Oh, so now you know your times tables. Yvette, occasionally proving that you're articulate doesn't mean you have business acumen. Beyond, of course, your clear mastery of basic arithmetic, we all know you can add up how much Freak makes. Okay, Cece, that's enough. <laughs> no, you know what, Cece? You're absolutely Anywho, right. Freak, and the reason... speaking of basic arithmetic, how much of Freak's money do you take? Okay, I mean, what, did I manager manager what? what did I just say about Team Freak? A manager? Is that what you know about what? No, Team the only members of Good. Team Freak in here are me and you. Oh, you know what, Cece? This isn't the womb, okay? It's not just you and Freak. Speaking of, how's that going for you? Hey, come on. Oh, snap! You gonna let hey. her talk to me Yo, like that, really? You need to check on me. Yo, even check her about now. Yeah. Yo, I'm out. You know what? I think I'm I'll out. join oh, you. No, 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 no. darlings, please. Please, have a seat. I would just love to hear what you all were just discussing. Better yet, let me guess. Hmm. Hey, yo, I'm saying, dude, what you need to do is hit up these parties. Yeah, you need to show these fools how you still have mad love for the hood. Get you some flossy jewels. Make sure every time they see you whistling the new whip. Better yet, let's get us a dealership or a club or something. Never mind that house you promised your twin sister you promised you get for your parents who are still in the projects where you left them. Yo, that's not fair. I ain't leaving my ass. Hey, and you know I'll never leave my parents in projects. Thing, fam. I'll take care of everything. All you got to do is break me off with that bread.
Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow. You know what, Cece? I don't know what's going on with you tonight, but I think it's best you go home. We will continue our meeting here. You asking me to leave? Yes. Hey, yo, freak. It's all good, man. As a matter of fact, CC. Now, I know you don't like me. You never have. Now, I don't know what I ever did to you. But at this point, does it really matter anymore? Look, I just want you to know that I'm really sorry. But whatever it was, I can honestly say it was not intentional. Right? Hey, freak. Think about what I said earlier, man. I ain't trying to catch no charge. Bet, you ready? Let's bounce. I know I love you more than life itself. Then how come you always put them before me? I don't put anyone above you, not even myself. You sure about that, Cece? What would you just call all this? I mean, you come in here blowing up my spot and you insult my brother? He's not our brother. You disrespect my woman. <laughs> He's trying to protect you. From who? From the likes of you? But you don't think I realize that I have vultures and blood-sucking leeches in my life? Don't think I realize that you're one of them? Blood-sucking? Yeah, but you know what? That's what I think the problem is. It's because you realize you're no better than them and you're ashamed. But in fact, you're worse because we share the same blood. And just because they don't have the same blood running through their veins as us doesn't mean that they don't love me. Yeah, their love might be flawed, but it's true. What you need to understand is I don't need you to protect me anymore. I don't mind the people closest to me leeching off me. Yes, you do leech off me, and I leech off you too. You love business and you love me. I use that. Vic? Uh, Vic? You know you don't mind running these streets. He's my connection to things I don't want to deal with anymore, so I let him do him. I take care of him, and in return, he looks out for me in places you know you can. And as much as you don't want to hear this, Yvette, she is the eye of the storm in my life right now. She is my only calm. She's my peace shelter. I use these people and they use me. I just don't call it that, CC. I don't call what you do using me. I call what you do caring for me. Forgive yourself and forgive them for using the resources at their disposal to get what they need. And what you need to learn to do is just trust me. Okay, I've always had a good judge of character, even before I was born. Remember? Because I chose to come in this world with you. That's right. It was me and you in the womb just kicking it. Right? Right? I was born first. <laughs> yeah, you were. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Swish. <laughs> 